This is Design by RC. Today I'm bringing you guys an updated version of my Jersey Swap tutorial. And for this tutorial, I will be using this Saquon Barkley Jersey Swap that I made. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Alrighty, for the first part of this is the swap tutorial. What you're gonna want to do first is get your original picture. Just get your picture. And the best way I found to get a good quality picture for a jersey swap is to use google advanced search so you go on safari or whatever you wherever you look stuff up you go to google and then just type this because right now it's not popping up when you click like settings so i suggest you to use this uh link right here copy that and what you want to do where it says right here all these words um put your player's name or whatever you're going to do to Saquon Barkley in this case, and then I'm gonna go with size. And I like going larger than eight or larger than 12. Um, I think larger than 12 is probably the best, best one to go with. So you get the best, best, best um, quality. So you just, hit, you just hit advanced search. And then right here you can find a bunch of different pictures, whatever you want to use, whatever, yeah, whatever you like. All these pictures are going to be pretty good quality. They're going to be the best quality for any swap you're going to want to do. And in this case, I found this one, so I thought it was perfect. And in this case, I use this one right here. And yeah, let's go to the next step. So the first real part of the swap is to, to cut out your player. So what I do is I use the this lasso tool right here, this this middle one right here. And what I do is I just go around the whole the entire player. With this with this tool, you're on your layer, you just cut them out. And I think just this tool is probably in in my opinion is the best cuz I feel like you can see more, you can you can be more precise with your cutouts. And there is people that have trouble with this one sometimes cuz they don't know this one setting. So if you want to use this tool specifically to cut out your player, what you're going to want to do is some people use it on this setting right here. And when you're cutting out and maybe you double click by accident, like you can't go. If you, if you try to continue, it just, it just goes away. So what I, so what you click is these two squares up here, click these two squares. And if you're, if you're cutting out, cutting out you so you're cutting out and then you, you mess up and you double click you don't it doesn't go away you can just keep cutting out and just go back to it and this will add to the selection right here so this adds to the selection and you can just cut it out and it's really simple so you want you're gonna want to do that around your whole player so once you have your cut out you have your cut out right it's a, it's, it's there it's good to go um, you're gonna want a background, so our, he was already in failure in this picture, but obviously this is not he's not playing the Eagles. So you go back to Google Advanced Search and you search an image, whatever background you think it looks best, whatever it fits best. And in this case, I found this one that fit perfectly. So to generate this top part right here, what I do is I use the rectangle tool. I just go ahead and select this top part right here where I see that there's no there's no top right here because it just it was like that the picture I go here I select this top part I go to generate a fill and then I generate with the AI the AI usually does a really good job of uh, making this like crowd background like blurred crowd background it does a really good job helps out with a bunch of stuff even when you're like cutting out a player off from like from the background itself it does a really good job and as you can see right there, just like that, did it and did a really good job of just creating this um, this top part of the of the picture. And once you have your background, you're good to go. And it would be next. It, it would be time for the next part of the swap. Now for the next part is adding. I'm gonna leave this one for the for last. The cutout and the extras. This is the main cutout with some little extra like details that you might need on the swap itself. But for the first thing is going to be the helmet. The helmet is probably one of the most important things for a swap to make it look realistic. 
with this swap it was different than my other swaps because i didn't use a helmet from another player all i did is use some is use a use generator fill again or content aware fill to remove the stripes and the and the logo from the helmet so it's going to be the same process that you did with the background you just cut out or like um yeah let's say you for example right here you want to remove this you just go around it and then you hit generator fill and it, it does a really good job most of the time sometimes it doesn't so if it doesn't I'd, I'd probably just mess around and maybe cut out a part from another helmet and put it on there or if if you find the helmet because I couldn't find like a like a right size for this helmet like this exact angle so I just hit uh, I just used a uh, gradient map so first off I, I didn't really fill this part right here because it messed up and then I hit it with a black and white black and white layer some black and white layer helps out a lot sometimes um it just makes the colors look better somehow I don't really know how to explain it sometimes it makes the colors look better so for the helmet just do that and then I darken up some spots that needed to be darkened up and then I hit it with the gradient map and it made, made it look uh, exactly how I wanted to so after I had I had my my helmet done the colors already done uh, I was going I, I went next to the to the face mask and for the face mask oh no but yeah, it's, it's, this is the I did the bumper sticker first. Yeah, I did the bumper sticker first, and then after that, it is the face mask. So, for the face mask, it's similar to the jersey or just cutting out. All you gotta do is go to the original picture. You hit, you hit it with your lasso tool. And you go all around it. You just go all all around it. For example, just doing really quick so I can show you. Let's say. You know, you can do better than this, but you just go all around it. You hit Command J, uh, remove it from the from the original picture, and you're left with the face mask itself. And then to cut out everything, you lose you use your lasso tool and just cut out every little hole to where you just leave the face mask itself. You don't leave anything but the face mask. And so once you have that, once you have the face mask cut out, you're gonna want to use a gradient map. And gradient maps are going to be one of the most important things, if not the most important thing, when it when it comes to making a jersey swap, um, because it helps it helps change colors really easily. Instead of using like um, hue and saturation, or um, yeah, I don't know what, what else you would use, but gradient map is the is, is the best option when it comes to changing colors on anything. So for this one, I went with the. It's pretty much for all for everything. You go with the very dark, pretty much black, and it's, it's pretty much gonna be fully black all the time. Go fully black on that left side and on the middle. You hit it with a hit it with the true color of the face mask. In this case, the face mask is black, but I made it just a tad bit lighter to to give it a little more. I don't know. I just I just made it a little lighter right there. And then all I did is just move this this point over until it looked good. And then as you can see here, even if you move right here, you can keep this, but there's not enough shadows. So what I did is I grabbed a little diamond point right here and then just moved it towards this middle point. Made it darker on some spots. Th moving this just makes it darker. And yeah, as you can see, that makes it, makes it look perfect. You ain't gonna do anything else to it. Next part was the eagles, lo the eagles, um, the eagles wing. Um, all I did is just grab another helmet. I cut out this part right here. Added a generator fill because I added another um, visor clip right here. I took out that original one. Added some black and white to make it look better. Added a bit of curves, darken it up a little more. And that was it for the wing. Um, next was the other the other visor clip. Next up is this this shoes and socks. It's gonna be really simple with this. It's just cutting them out individually. You cut them out individually, and then you use a grading map. For example, for these, I just did a, gra a black grading map. 
made the made this made this black, made the shoes black. So I got the Getty map. It's gonna be similar to the to the one I used for the face mask. This one fully black on this left side, and then just like a tight bit lighter here. You can make it a little darker there, but you go that, and then you go fully white on this one, and then I did that. It just gave it a really good black color to it. And for the socks, the same thing. Cut them out and add a gray map to it. So I made them black and white first, and then I added a, a green gradient map to them. Make make it match the the helmet and the jersey. So that's gonna be it for the shoes and socks. This is gonna be graded maps. Pretty much everything on the jersey is gonna be graded maps. So yeah, let's go to the next part. The next part is the pants. Um, in in my case, I didn't have to change the color of the pants because I was doing the home unis of the Eagles. So I did I did cut them out again. I did cut them out, but I just added a black and white layer to make it look cleaner. I like having them like giving a true white color and now for the stripes is is you're gonna want to get pictures that are similar angles to this it doesn't have the it doesn't have to be the exact same angle but it has to be a similar angle for mostly everything so yeah then again I I grabbed the the pants stripes from somebody else and then I just and then I just warped it in to make it look similar to the original one Next is gonna be the jersey. Jersey was, it was a little tough for this one. It was tough trying to cut out, um, trying to remove uh, the numbers. Um, I'm not gonna go fully in depth because that's gonna take a really long time. But I'm gonna just just tell y'all what I pretty much what I did. So for pretty much everything but the full numbers, it's gonna be. Just using generator fill, generator fill or constant aware fill, whichever one you want to use. Just go ahead and just go cut them out, go like that, go right here, and you go generator fill, generate. That's gonna generate that part. Don't don't put any text on that text box that it shows there first. Don't put any text. Just just hit generate, and as you can see, it generates it perfectly. Uh, it gives you different options and yeah you're gonna do that for pretty much everything you're gonna want to cut out the the stripes to remove this same thing hit generator fill generate and it'll generate and it'll generate it pretty well if it, it doesn't work I just go to if you're gonna cut it out again for example you're gonna cut it out again and then go to edit, and then you're gonna go, go to fill. It has to be a a, a rasterized layer. If not, um, content aware fill doesn't work. But yeah, if generated fill doesn't work, go to content aware fill, and it should work. Same thing with numbers and every little detail. So yeah, after a bit of a struggle with with this, with getting getting this uh, removed getting the numbers removed as you can see you have it as a clean jersey nothing on it just a jersey and now you go to your gradient map for, and for this gradient map it's it is a bit harder to go from from white to a darker color but it's not it's not impossible it's not difficult at all it is harder than than just going from one color to another but it's harder to go from white to black or just a dark color if you know what I mean so for this one um, I went fully black on this far left side fully fully black for this middle one I went with the just the regular Philly green so yeah just fully black on this left side and then just go here let me, let me put this back to show you how it was at first so this, this is how it was at first it obviously looks horrible so what you what you want to do to make it go from really light to dark move the middle point to the far right just move it far far right after you do that you move this little diamond over to remove some of the highlights put around around 70 and then go back to the black and then move this point back again 
to around 65 to 70 again. And if it still doesn't look good, you can move this middle point again more to the right. Make it darker and that should do the job. Uh, next part is going to be the little jersey assets for f for any jersey. Not for any jersey, but for some jerseys like the Texans or let's see. For Bills or any team that has a, a different color type of collar, do the same thing. You just, you just cut it out. You use your, your lasso tool. You cut them out. And then you add a grading map. And the same thing with this grading map for, to go from white to black. You go from this really dark, just completely black. And this one's going to be pr almost fully black, but kind of like in the middle of it. And this is gonna, not going to be fully white. So it, it, it actually gives it like a dark color. You just move around with these, move these around and you should get that truly true, true black that you're going to, that you want. Same thing with this. Just cut out the, the collar. Just go around with where the, where you can see here the stitching. Just go around, cut out around the stitching. Go, go, go all around the collar. And then once you have it cut out, again, use a gradient map. I use the same gradient map I did for this, for the, for these, um, for the little shoulder things. Use the same black gradient map. And then I added back the original NFL logo that it had. Next part is, 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 is it's the main part. So the, the main parts of the jersey swap, it's the numbers and little assets. But yeah, next part was the little Eagles logo. For the Eagles logo, all I did is added it and then I made it black and white. I made it black and white. I went to image and I went to adjustments and I went black and white. Simple. And then add a little shadow right here because it shouldn't be fully, fully like really bright. So I have some shadows just to give it a little darker vibe. Uh, next part will be the numbers. So yeah, again, for the numbers, find the whatever player you're doing, find that player's number. So as for the Saquon, I went to Miles Sanders, look the Miles Sanders, find the similar angle, and warp them into where it fit pretty much the same as the original ones. As you can see, it fits pretty much the same. Use your warp tool. Use a warp tool as well to make creases and make it look more realistic. You go to liquify, use your liquify tool, and then you zoom into this, and then just make it look, and then just add maybe some, just warp, warp some of the parts in. If, as you can see right here, it has like a big, big crease right here, so I'd probably warp this in. Use your, use your warp tool right here, this top one right here warp these so just to make it look more realistic so and at first it looked a little too dark add a little curves layer just move this top this little top point up just a tiny bit and then I next up I added the the shadows shadows are really important so I I go with the with the with the brush hardness to, to zero and your flow to around it eight through ten and then you go in you add you manually in you manually add shadows in to parts that you think might need shadows or you get parts that you see that need shadows yeah, I, again you can use the original numbers for reference to where the shadows are gonna go and just copy them or do similar ones or just add some yourself to make the, make it look as realistic as possible next part was the Eagles logo pretty simple Again, just look up, uh, just just uh, look for a picture that has a similar angle. Cut out the logos for this for this for the Eagles jerseys. It's just the the Eagles logo, but you might need like a stripe, shoulder stripe or something. And just cut out the stripes, put them in, warp them in. So I did that. I did the same thing with this. I'm gonna transform warp, and then just warp warp it into where you can see that it looks in the right place. If you're using stripes, you can use the original stripes of the jersey if they had. If they had any stripes, you can use the same stripes as reference 
and just to try to make a leg as best as possible. Next part was just the, the Nike logo. I used the, the the same Nike logo that the original one had. Just warped warped it so it looked straighter. Use the Lego Fight tool for that and just added it onto it. Now for the little final part, this this, this is um one of the closing parts of a jersey swap for me. Um, I add little extras. For uh, for extras, I mean making colors look right, uh, making making the blacks look completely black. I don't like them having little tints. That's not that's not what I like for my jersey swaps. For this, I added a curved layer to make this jersey for, to make the visor look a little darker. For this black and white layer, I used it to make, uh, for example, the chin strap and the chin strap, the chin straps, and then maybe even like down here, added some black and white, to, so you can't see like the reds or like little colors that creep through the the socks. Use black and white for that. <clears throat> Below black and white layer is for. I use for the gloves. In this, in this case, I don't have to make the the gloves a different color, cause Philly has the black color. But if you do have to make gloves a different color, same process with the jersey and and socks and shoes. Just cut them out with your, with your lasso tool. Cut them all out and add a grading map to it. So for this case, I just made them fully 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 black so after I had it all had it all done and stuff I added a retouch to it um, for this example I already have it on camera raw filter I'm, I'm gonna show you how to how I make a little retouch like a quick retouch on camera raw. Um, I just combine all these into one group duplicate the group and then just uh, merge the group we'll go to filter camera raw filter and stuff I mess around with is I go to color go to browse go to modern I regularly use modern 4 sometimes modern 6 and sometimes modern 10 any of these other ones just don't look good modern 10 modern 4 play with some exposure contrast highlights uh, shadows blacks whites I use color. I do use effects though. Um, for the effects, you don't want to go too crazy with texture clarity. I did used to go a little crazier before, um, but now I toned it down a little more just to make it look better. Uh, I use texture to around 10, clarity again to around 15, and then grain. I do bring up the grain to around 30 to 35 to make it look to give it just a more it's like a grainier look. I feel like a grainier look makes it look more realistic. So yeah, that's gonna be it for that. Um, you can go to color mixer again, go to and then go to hue. Play with the oranges, skin colors to make it look better. Play with the colors again of the jersey, the aquas, the blues, uh, whatever color the jersey you're, you're doing is. Mess around with it here. You can change the colors. Um, and yeah, I did a really simple one for this one. It was really simple. And all I did was just added um, some shadows and some highlights. I can use the brush tool, use exposure layers, clip it onto the player, and then just brush in where you see that might need maybe some shadows. I just I just darken up the shadows. That's all I do. I really just darken back up the shadows and then make the highlights brighter. And that's it for the for the player retouch and then after that I add another retouch I just I go I add another layer and then I just put everything into one layer again make the put the full swap on one layer and what I do is I again I go to camera raw filter and then just add a filter use the same process maybe use um uh, one thing I do use on the final I like the final final retouch is um, color grading. I regularly use like a like these bluish tones. I feel like the bluish tones give it like a really look, good look. You go here, mess around with these. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy because sometimes it is it does too much. 
so I think around 10 for any of these 10 to 15 10 to 20 maybe is doable for some of these but as you can see like if you if you do too much then it just looks too weird if you, if you add a little bit it gives it like a nice little tint of blue or whatever color you want and that's going to be pretty much it for my jersey swaps um yeah that's it um i don't do much else after that you know i just get it ready and get it to post thank you guys for watching if you had any questions if you have any questions or anything feel free to shoot me a dm on instagram i'm always i'm always active um if you have any questions or need help with anything just hit me up i'll leave my links in the description um yeah just hit me up and i can and i'll give you a little hint um go follow my instagram that's where i post everything that i do all of my work is, is posted on instagram now we posted more on youtube here pretty soon i'm gonna post in, I'm gonna be posting more tutorials and and if you need if you want any tutorials you can leave a suggestion in the comments you want to learn how to do just leave it in the comments and i'll try to i'll try to respond to them and and try to make a tutorial for that so thank you guys for watching i hope you get again i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah have a have a great day